Hello everyone and welcome. I'm Mario. Welcome to day two of the all new GoWise USA air fryer oven. Stick around. Today I'm putting old reliable my GoWise USA 5.8 quart air fryer against the new 12.7 quart GoWise USA air fryer oven. We're going to be doing some Kentucky Colonel seasoned flour wings. I prepared the wings off camera. I'm going to post a link in the description of how I prepare the Kentucky Colonel seasoned flour on wings. But as you know, we need to coat this with some oil. So I'm going to do one side right now and we're going to get these in the rack. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we are going to spray down the Go Wise basket. I'm going to put four sets of wings. So it's going to be four drumlets and four wings in each basket. Make sure you when you put these in you put the oil side down. We'll get this in this air fryer. I'm going to spray this off camera with some olive oil so it won't stick. And again oil side down and I am going to spray these on this side off camera. This I am going to place on the upper shelf. Again, spray this off camera and put these on oil side down and spray the top now. We are going to put this on the middle shelf. And before I forget, I need to spray the top of these. Now this is a two for one test today, comparing the air fryer against the air fryer oven. But in the air fryer oven, it's a two for test because I have two rows of chicken. Now the top chicken is going to cook and crisp faster than the bottom layer. So at some point I am going to move the top shelf down, the down shelf up as I flip so we can get some even cooking. So we're going to do these on 400 at 20 minutes is going to be the default. Usually I end up turning these around 10 so I'll set this at 10. But this one here will power it up, hit the power button. Uh, I'm just curious what the wings say. This says 415, so that's fine. I'm going to bring the time down to 10 minutes just the same. And after six seconds, this will start automatically. We are going to start this one manually. We'll see in about 10 minutes. Just a reminder, I have these on two separate dedicated circuits. These are going to produce a lot of heat and draw a lot of power. So I'm putting them on a cutting board. So be sure to protect any surfaces here from cracking. Okay, we're at about eight minutes. Let's give it a look. Push this back. These look like they're ready to flip. They will need some more oil. You want to get those flower spots covered. Spray that this side one more time. Get this back in. Looks forward. Air fryer oven, as soon as you open it, the fan will continue to run. However, the heating element will shut off and we'll soon find out if the timer has stopped as well. I'm going to pull this out. These need to be sprayed. Again, I'm going to do that off camera to keep the mess to a minimum. I'll also spin them. I'm going to spray these and put these aside so I can swap the shelves. So spray, flip, spray, and then move it up to the top shelf. Okay, so the fan is turned off, but the timer's still paused. And to be honest with you, I forget where I pulled out these layers of chicken, so I'm just going to have to put them back in the way they are. Wipe off some of this excess flour. I'm going to increase the time, five minutes. And I'm also going to do the same on the dough eyes. Okay, let's check the air fryer temperature. And those are ready. Push this back. Let's check the oven. I'm going to turn these around, see how they look. I think they need to crisp up some. They still look like they need to be cooked. They need to be cooked plenty by the looks of it. Ones on the bottom don't look too bad. Again, they still need to be cooked a little bit more by the looks and the temperature. Man, I think we're going to swap these shells around. These were sprayed and flipped. Now, because of this isn't full completely, I expect some air to be able to easily come down to the second shelf and cook a little better. But uh, it still doesn't seem to be the case. 
again this is 1700 watts this is 1600 watts this is also bigger so I assume that's part of the reason why it's cooking slower let's take a couple of pieces of chicken out of here give it a taste we will grab one wing and one as I like to call it drumlet there we go still gonna be hot oh really hot but that's tasty I haven't had Kentucky Colonel in seems like months now now one side of this is a little uh, more wet and the other side is more crisp Ooh. super moist on the inside Sometimes you forget how much you like something. Now, we're going to just try the drumstick. Moist inside, definitely. Got a ton of crisp on the outside, bro. That could be for a number of reasons. I'm gonna do a temperature probe test here. Still not up to temperature. I'm gonna flip these once again. The same results or similar results to the Breville. Breville took longer with the higher temperature. Put this back in. I don't think I need to spray any more oil. Let's take a look at this. Check the temperature of one of these. Interesting. The bottom ones are hotter and they're more cooked. Let's get these turned, get these crisped up. Uh, we will go back over to the wing setting, 400. Uh, we don't need that much time, but I am going to bring it down to, let's say, four minutes. We'll start this up. We'll be back right back. Okay, let's give this a check. These were the bottom wings which were pretty much cooked and these were the ones that came from the top. So the regular air fryer 12 minutes, these have been going on 14-15 minutes with a little more maintenance of the flip. I tell you I'm not thrilled with what happened here, maybe I should have uh, let them sit on one side to kind of drain a little bit, but let's give it a check anyway. Now these, you can't pull them halfway out without falling out, I wish this would stay up pulled out halfway but that's not the case so we will pull these out i can actually slide them on the bottom rack this has three one two three that these thin ones thin mesh racks will fit at you could put the basket up top and then two mesh below it so you could fit three rows but let me grab one of the ones that looked cooked and one of these not going to shut it completely because if I do the fan will turn on to be honest I'm, I'm not happy with the way that looks not even the Breville did that it is cooked yummy <coughs> and moist <laughs> You'll never see me with a can on a video, typically. Um, so, let's review what we have here. The original GoWise air fryer, better job. Less time, uh, 12 minutes, I think I said. The air fryer oven took 14, but I don't like the way it cooked it. I may decide to throw it back in for another minute to kind of crisp it up a little bit at a higher temperature. It's just the way the Breville acts. So, after day two, what do we got? Um, it, it's still tough. I still prefer the regular air fryer. Um, the oven will probably be one of those things that people buy specifically for a reason. Like they can't have both a toaster oven and an air fryer. So maybe they'll buy the air fryer oven. But it's getting to the point that I can almost cook anything in this air fryer. I've done meatballs, meatloaf. You could do toast. I've done 
bacon, egg, and cheese in there. Everything. Um, but I'm hoping with day three, and as I get more familiar with the unit, um, that it will perform better. I think it'll still take longer with the higher temperature. However, it does fit a lot more food. So while it may take longer, if you get to cook for more than two people or three people like the GoWise Air Fryer, it might be something good. So what do we have at day two? Um, GoWise Air Fryer, the original, still works better, less time. The oven, you can fit twice as much. However, it just does not perform like the air fryer for a couple of reasons. Uh, it's bigger, has less power. It only has 1600 watts compared to the air fryer's 1700 watts. Um, and uh, you know, you got multiple shelves in there. So, you know, it's gonna take longer to cook and you may have to rotate your food. I think if I was to take out the air fryer basket, the accessory, which I'll be testing next, uh, it'll perform more similar to the air fryer. It just will still have less power and it's bigger, so it'll take more time overall to cook the food. Um, GoWise was in contact with me about replacing a couple of parts. Uh, if you saw yesterday's video, you'll know one of the thumb screws were missing to hold the rotisserie in place. The oven rack uh, had a broken end and the steak basket that you put uh, steaks in or fish or whatever, it wasn't milled down enough on one side to fit into the V-groove that just was kind of like a, a sitting end where the motor would spin it like on the rotisserie. So uh, they were good about it. They're sending my, me out the replacement parts. Hopefully this is not uh, a problem in the long run. Uh, I also found that uh, a couple of other air fryers, obviously like the regular GoWise, this is manufactured somewhere for everybody and they just silk screen a name on it. So you will see ovens like this with a different name brand on it. Anyway, uh, in the description, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter accounts, check them out, subscribe. I have updates more often there. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing, hit the notification bell so you know when I put out a new video. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks a lot. Don't forget to unplug your air fryer, folks.